Aw, oh, yeah. What is up, video game masters? That's it. Review Call of Duty Ghost. Um, an indie review, which I think you guys will really enjoy. Let's kick it off. So, Call of Duty Ghost here. I can't play the campaign because, well, reasons. But multiplayer and extraction and squads are pretty cool. And really, it's campaign. But someone else will be covering that, sir. But we know what the real deal is. What's the multiplayer like? What's squads like? I mean, what the heck is squads? And what's extinction? Well, let's kick it off with telling you what squads is. Squad is actually something I really do enjoy. Believe it or not, squad is something where it's kind of like when you played um, Black Ops 2 against bots. It's basically like a training thing, so you can definitely train yourself to the best of your abilities here. You just kind of pop into a match. You know, you can challenge a friend or so. You just press find match, and, you know, if you had a squad with you, they would all be here, but instead I just got some bots. Um, uh, yeah, so you just kind of hop in there, you start playing, and bam, you're off. You're on, you're off. Off on an adventure, and of course we're going to play some Free Fall, which is a dynamic map. Um, I got this Games on Demand on Xbox, so really, just do it, because you will get Free Fall free with it, I guess. Or something like that, so I just say do it, okay? Um, but yeah. Um, the gameplay is very similar. If you ever play Black Ops 2, it makes Modern Warfare 1, with the sprinkle a little bit of Modern Warfare 3 in there, this is the gameplay. Like, no joke. Because it, it has a really striking resemblance to the Black Ops series, but also the just color scheme and the way the guns are, really, for the first Modern Warfare. And then you just kind of the way it's a little more fast paced, Modern Warfare 3. So. Like I said, just kind of go with it. So yeah, you just hop into a squad match here. And um, it just randomly generates maybe team deathmatch, free for all. You never know what you're going to get. Actually, not free for all, sorry. Um, you never know what you're going to get. So we're going to domination. And yeah, it's really fun. It's really addicting. You can have a lot of fun with it. Um, and field order field orders are something I really enjoy. Where it's a way great way to get some double X or you know, some extra XP. And also another thing, the best thing about squads is unlike Call of Duty, you actually do get XP, you know, not half of the XP. No, you get the whole deal of EXP here. And oh my gosh. So to be honest, I find that pretty cool, pretty fun, and pretty unique. And I think it's a great way for you to just train your skills, maybe get a really high level, and then go into one player and test your stuff out, which I think is cool. So, yeah, I really recommend going into squads first. Um, get a bunch of friends, hop in there, and just go out there and play some Call of Duty Ghost. Now, I am aware it's coming out for next-gen consoles, and I'm really hoping to get one, but as you guys know, it costs money. Money is something that's pretty tight these days. So, I, you know, eventually I'll get one, you know, definitely before the generation ends or something like that. But, um, yeah. And of course, another thing about this game, it's very, you know, this map is very dynamic, I do have to agree with that. Um, explosions happen just randomly, you never know what's gonna happen, and that's what they mean as in dynamic. You can blow some things up, but by dynamic, you never know what's gonna happen next, which is the thing I really enjoy. And one's called Storm Surge or something of another, a storm kind of just kind of sweeps in and really messes up with your enemy with the wind and stuff. I find that unique, I find that cool, I really enjoy it. And overall, it's, it's time to play it like Battlefield, but I honestly don't care because I don't even play Battlefield much because I like the original way more than I like the new ones. Sure, it's got destruction and stuff, but doesn't just have that charm to it. Not anymore. It's wearing itself thin. So I, you know, that's just how I personally feel about it. But I still prefer Battlefield. You know, it's really close race. I like Call of Duty. I like Battlefield. I don't really prefer either or. So yeah. Again, squads is great. It's pretty much just multiplayer with bots, so yeah, that's pretty much multiplayer gameplay just against bots. So don't even, yeah. <laughs> so it's great. It's fun. Um, it also has some new systems like the leaning, which shows you which one you're gonna lean, which I actually enjoy. It reminds me a lot of um some other games like Rainbow Six, where you kind of take cover. It really works because it feels like an actual cover system. A little weird, and if you want to turn it off, you can, but me personally, I enjoy it. But also for those die-hard Call of Duty fans who just enjoy doing this and popping out, 
you know you can always do that but personally this is some this is something you don't want to turn off in the options so again I enjoy it and overall I feel like this is a great addition to the franchise the engine has greatly improved um way over black ops or any of the games it, it looks amazing even on this um old gen i'll say console it looks just amazing and you know stuff's always falling down you never know what's gonna happen next and overall you have to say i had a lot of fun with this game i enjoy this game and i really feel like people should check it out for 60 bucks um you're really getting your money's worth uh, the DLC, I'm pretty sure will be nothing short of amazing, so just, just hurry up and get that DLC already. So yeah, I do, you know, overall, this is a great game, the multiplayer is extraordinary. I have to give the multiplayer, no joke, a 9 out of 10, that's right. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a pretty huge multiplayer fan. I love getting online, I love just going off, going at it with people you don't know, it's just amazing, and I love it. But also, I, you know, like to play by myself and stuff, and overall, I do have to admit, this is a great game, it's, the multiplayer is just spot on perfect. Sure, there's a couple hackers, but, um, they've pretty much patched that, thankfully. I saw a couple today, but, um, reported them, they should be getting banned pretty soon. So, hackers, beware, Video Game Master is here to report to you. So, yeah, overall, multiplayer is great, it's really fun. And I enjoyed it. Now, Extinction is another story, but we gotta, you gotta see gameplay to touch on that. Like, let's be honest, that is like something of an, that's like of another class. And uh, overall, um, multiplayer is great, to be honest. So I give again nine out of ten. Let's get out of here and let's show you guys some Extinction, ex uh, 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 Extinction Extraction. I don't know what it's called. Something of another with an E and an X gameplay okay call of duty why and i'm just gonna have to flat out say this right now because it's really bugging me all these all the aliens are pretty much just promethean rejects i mean look at them really what's with the whole new trend of aliens having orange blood i mean come on guys on original let's be honest guys we have to be real halo totally did this first okay oh my god i'm just playing but seriously these guys literally look like rejects now the game the way this game plays reminds me a lot of um the what's it called left for dead series and the reason why is i i mean i haven't played it but the way it looks the way it you know just kind of sounds and stuff it looks very much like it you know there's the diner and stuff um you got their special types of aliens chasing after you really fast and you know the big ones that knock you out in a hit or knock pick up things and stuff and your small ones are just typical, you know, it it feels like they just took a page out of that and said, okay, yeah, um, let's use it, and, oh, okay, good, we're gonna do that. So, again, these look like Promethean rejects, like, they were on the list, and Halo said, yeah, we're gonna scrap this, but, um, yeah, and then, I don't know how Infinity War found the papers, they're like, oh, whoa, whoa, we need, we need to make our, we need to make an alien game mode. Just like zombies, it'll be popular, everybody will love it, oh my gosh. But to be honest, it is not that bad. It's a fun little time just trying to survive all of this carnage going on without trying to die and, you know, grabbing that drill and running off and, ugh, yeah, it just feels great, man. I have to admit, this is really fun game mode. Um, it's kind of like zombies in a way, but, um... To be honest, guys, it really is not that bad, so I don't get what people are complaining about. It's pretty, pretty good, to be honest. So, yeah. And propane tanks play a huge part in this game. Because they're really, you really need to use them to put on, like, the IMS here, and they'll blow up and set a whole new trap and everything. It just feels so cool. And overall, I do have to admit, this game is, like, really fun. Um, I, I have to say, I enjoy it. I really admit extraction is pretty good. You know, kind of like zombies. And overall, it feels good. It just feels nice. Now, this is best played with some friends. Because it's pretty boring by yourself. Or with some, I don't know. Just don't play with random people. 
there's anything I learned from zombies, just don't play with randoms. They always do something really messed up and get you killed. So imagine playing something a little more intense. Yeah, not fun. Just saying. And yes, you even have skill points to upgrade, so it plays even a little bit like an RPG, to be honest. I just have to say, this is really fun, it's really amazing, and overall, Extraction's great. I give Extraction an 8, because I feel like, instead of putting the drill on there every 5 seconds, you could have had a little more depth to the gameplay. I would really love to see some more action, you know, of course you've got some other things, but... I wish there's like more mission based, kind of like special ops. Where special ops here is pretty much just missing. I feel like they only focused on multiplayer, graphics, and a new campaign. And then this was kind of like a side note. I really wish instead of extraction we had special ops because I'm gonna, not gonna lie. Special ops is my favorite thing to do in Modern Warfare. To this day, I still like to pop in some Modern Warfare 2 and play some special ops. Especially that snowmobile stage. Who doesn't like snowmobiles? Exactly. Everybody likes snowmobiles. Nobody says no, no snowmobiles, okay? That's that's what I'm trying to say, people. So, I'm the Video Game Master, wrapping up this review with Extraction getting an 8.5. I'm the Video Game Master. I'll see you guys next time, gamers. Peace to the